All right, hey everybody. So I'm using my Comfort Buds Pro to record this just so I get a wider range of motion. If it sounds good, I might do this more in the future. But anyways, today, since I am back home, it is a few days after Christmas. Hopefully y'all had a good holiday season so far. New Year's is up in a couple of days. There is a fragrance that I've been meaning to review for a very long time now. The first fragrance I ever got as a kid came from my grandfather and he gave this to me when I was about three or four years old and it's a Federico Moura. I honestly do not know the name of the fragrance but whatever it is I looked it up and the closest thing I could actually relate it to was the original Hugo Boss bottled or Boss number no. six. So these smell the same I will say this smelled a lot more rich than this does. I've had this bottle for a year now. I'm gonna make it my scent of the day actually. So essentially my grandfather gave me a clone of Hugo Boss bottled back when clones weren't necessarily like the thing. And this was about 2007, 2008, cause I was three, four years old when I got it. It's a hell of a scent. It's a classic. A lot of people talk about it being a cinnamon, apple pie type of scent. I never really got that, personally. It wasn't gourmand or edible in that manner, but it is very delectable. It's very pleasant. It does lean a little older, though, because it is a Boss bottle. And this was released back in, I want to say 1997, 98-ish. It's not a new scent. A lot of geranium in here, which I think makes it lean a little older. A bunch of notes. I do not get the plum note that is listed. But at the end of the day, you really get a bunch of apple. Quite a bit of cinnamon, some other spices, a little bit of woods. At least to me, it's very pleasing. Maybe this leans a little more older because this was released in the 20th century. And it's not a bad thing that it was. I just don't know if younger guys nowadays would actually really like it the only reason why i like it is because like i mentioned before this was the first scent i ever really smelled albeit a clone let's see where is it i have a little badge code somewhere down here i don't know if you could see it or not i don't know how old this bottle is i don't know when it was produced but i bought this last year in the gift set at a ross for 30 bucks honestly i'm not mad that i got it for 30 bucks it obviously brings back a set memory. Reminds me of my grandfather who passed away a while ago. Performance, not really the greatest. I get about four to five hours. Longevity isn't really the best. Projection, not really the best. The scent profile is still very nice. Reminds me of my childhood because this was one of the scents that I wore in my childhood, actually. I was pimping as a little kid, basically. Boss Bottled has a bunch of flankers that I really wanted to try for a very long time. I wanted the Intense, which is difficult to find with both the EDT and the EDP. I know like Boss Bottled Oud, Oud Saffron too, that I really want to try. Infinite, I want to try. Boss Bottled Night. I mean, there's countless Boss Bottled flankers few of them are discontinued nowadays. I think I owe it to myself and to my grandfather to at least collect some of them. I don't know, honestly, if it's worth it anymore because all these people I really see buying Boss Bottled are the people who were there when it first came out or the people who got it gifted later on in their life and one of the first smells they ever smelled. It's the only Hugo Boss fragrance I own. I've passed by some of the flankers at rack stores. At least you're talking about like eBay trusted sellers, fragranceby.ca, fragrancenet, fragrancex, all of those other fragrance online discounters. You could find these Boss Bottle and Boss Bottle flankers. For a very good price. I can't speak upon any of the other flankers. I could only speak upon the original. I'm positive that there's a few flankers out there that do not smell anything like this at all. Or don't even utilize any of the same notes. I could be wrong because like I mentioned before, countless amount of flankers. I want to say maybe like 20 at this point, which is a lot. If you're looking for... A slightly old school delectable, not necessarily edible, but something that smells cozy, comforting, warm, inviting, 
with the little old school freshness, you cannot go wrong with Boss Bottled. And I hope that even some of the younger people out there, see people my age, try it out because it actually does smell really good. Yeah, I, I am pretty biased about it, but I think a lot of younger people should give it a shot. I know there's a lot of other flankers out there in this line that suit younger people more, but at least to understand the original, just give it a shot. Even if you get a little 50 mil or a little sample, that's fine. It's not really all that expensive nowadays. I would not buy this at full retail. Albeit all the nostalgia that this is tied with, with my scent memory. I would not pay full retail for it. I don't think it's worth it at this point. If you have Boss Bottled Intents, I don't care what type of Boss Bottled Intents, let me know if it actually smells like a more intense version of this because I've wanted that for quite a while. I joined the community when it was still around. I never got my way around to it. And by the time I did, oh, it was discontinued. So definitely let me know if you own Boss Bottled Intents. If you own Hugo Boss Bottle, let me know what you think about it. Comment down below. Subscribe to my channel for future content. Till then, I'll see you in the next one.